Hey, thanks. Thanks, Judy. And thanks to all the panelists for that packed and very efficient discussion of the state transformation collaborative collaboratives and how state based collaborations can build aligned approaches to overcome barriers to value based care. These state collaboratives and the STC will help the LAN take steps to extend these kinds of multi payer multi stakeholder steps across the country through the accountable care action collaborative that was also announced today. And we hope to see many more of you who have joined us today partnering in the ACAC. Uh, right now, I'd like to extend a special thanks to all of our speakers, the moderators, and the panelists uh, who joined us today. We appreciate your time and efforts in supporting the LAN and in these next important steps in the LAN. And I also want to thank everyone who joined us. Uh, your coming here today out of a busy schedule reflects your interest, and I think in many, many cases, strong commitment to making faster and more effective progress towards the critical goals of the LAN. Uh, along with all of those that we heard from today. I'm going to get into more specifics on what's next in just a few minutes, but first I'd like to highlight some of the themes we heard about, about where the LAN intends to focus its efforts to advance the goals of healthcare transformation. Uh, as you know, we heard from the LAN Health Equity Advisory Team, co-chaired by Marshall Chen and Karen Dale, who wasn't able to join us today. The HEAT and some of its collaborators described practical steps to advance health equity through alternative payment models to provide a clear path for providers who are treating individuals with high social risk and underserved populations for those providers to succeed in improving health and addressing disparities. We also heard some examples of how to thoughtfully use social risk adjustment measures, particularly individual level measures to augment the traditional clinical risk measures. And we heard about some other important supporting steps, including learning collaboratives and accountability for improving on key measures of health equity. We had a virtual fireside chat with Administrator Chiquita brooks Lashore and CMMI Director Liz Fowler that highlighted the strong commitment and the current priorities across CMS related to advancing value-based care. A key point was framing these value-based reforms, not just in technical terms like accountable care, but in terms that matter for people. After all, the point is to meet people where they are, to understand and address their unique needs by providing care that matters the most to them. CMS is using the shared savings program as a framework for building out its care transformation and synchronizing its key ACO features across the Medicare shared savings program and with the many other more advanced and uh, innovative payment reforms that CMMI is developing in a coordinated way and also coordinating with the rest of CMS. The CMS leadership is committed to supporting organizations that are new to value-based care and to increasing participation among smaller ACOs. The administration is taking many steps to assure that CMS payment reform efforts are intentional about improving health equity and particularly about expanding the reach of ACOs and value-based care reforms into underserved communities. And coming from CMS, there are also is critical support ahead for specialty care to improve the outcomes and achieve the more comprehensive, coordinated care that matters to patients, especially patients with more extensive healthcare needs. More to come on specialized care. Liz Fowler reinforced the CMMI commitment and the CMS commitment to achieve a bold goal by 2030. All Medicare beneficiaries and a vast majority of Medicaid beneficiaries should be in a care relationship with accountability for quality and total cost. CMS is also committed to extending uh, that same goal and supporting that same goal throughout the healthcare system. So clearly, a lot of efforts uh, underway and coming at CMS to support this next phase of the land's work and all of our efforts to increase the impact of accountable care for all Americans. Now, Will Shrank spent some time summarizing the new steps that the LAN is taking to refine and, and update its um, more comprehensive focus, building on what we've learned to achieve these accountable care goals. That payment reform matters for supporting and sustaining person-centered, coordinated care, but that other supporting steps are critical for advancing this goal. We heard about an updated accountable care commitment curve 
for the land to help frame where people and organizations are in their journey to value-based care. As Will described, the Accountable Care Commitment Curve aims to provide a common framework for discussing and measuring the commitment and capabilities of payers, purchasers, providers, policymakers to advance accountable care together. It's going to take all of us to accelerate this transformation. The APM framework plus the accountable care commitment curve aims to help understand where we are on our journey towards payment reform and APM adoption. But not only that, that also Im includes the important steps beyond payment reform, including the key elements of equity, key inf infrastructure supports, and multi-stakeholder aligned actions toward common goals. So this is a significant evolution in an evolving area of health reform, and we want to hear from you and get your input. So we're asking for your feedback on the updated accountable care definition and the accountable care commitment curve. We did get some early feedback, thanks to you who participated in that uh, poll during the session today. 83% agreed and 23% strongly agreed that the proposed update the accountable care definition reflected your organization's understanding of accountable care. But we'd like to hear more and keep trying to do better. We've set up a public feedback web page to capture your thoughts. The recorded sessions from this um, the meeting today will be available soon. And we encourage you to reference these opening remarks and the remarks you heard today as you consider your feedback. Uh, finally, the, the spring event is just one of a number of new ways in which we intend to keep you updated on our work and get input and collaboration to support the common goals. We're also planning more ways to hear from you on these evolving topics. We recognize that not everyone is moving towards full capitation. We also believe that there is a lot of opportunity for all payers and providers and purchasers uh, to benefit from shifts in payment along with the key supporting steps that we've described today. And we want to make sure we have a place for all of you as this further work proceeds. And there's some upcoming events that that uh, enable will hopefully enable you to do that. Um, first, we're going to hold a town hall this summer to capture your feedback feedback on the accountable care commitment curve. This will be an opportunity to voice your opinions and hear more in more detail from the new accountable care work group and how to participate in its efforts. So stay tuned for more details on that. Second, don't forget the public feedback form on the website. We've included the link in the chat. So please bookmark that and take some time to send back uh, your comments, your organization's feedback. We've got an email address specifically for public feedback on this as well. It's here on this slide and is available on our website. Please make sure you're on our listserv for additional updates as we launch further public feedback periods and release more resources and supports for the LANS activities on things like our 2030 goals and topics for the LANS upcoming fall summit. And uh, don't forget that's taking place on November 10th and 11th and hope, we hope you'll join us for that as well. Uh, finally, please do take the time to fill out our event evaluation survey. We're trying out some new steps uh, in these virtual formats and again, more frequent interactions so that we can um, get the most impact possible through the LAN and we need your help and make sure we're doing that as effectively as possible. The link is on your screen. It's also in the chat and uh, we hope you'll take a few minutes now to fill that out. Again, thanks for joining us today. And we hope to see you soon. And thanks especially for your commitment to the land shared goal of uh, improving accountable care, improving person-centered, coordinated, comprehensive care for all Americans.